One in three of us now has to pay to watch television. Foxtel collecting around $90 or more a month from families who want to make individual sport and movie choices not shared by the mainstream. But overseas audiences have been accessing thousands of satellite channels for years at a fraction of the cost. Foxtel knows but doesn't want you to find out it's now available here. It's clear that Foxtel have mastered the art of squeezing as much as it can from its TV And I save a $1,000 a year. But that loyalty is about to be tested. There is a battle royal looming uh, over the next few years. On Nickelodeon, um, Comedy, Comedy Central, you can get your ESPN, Fox News, Sky News, 3,000 channels, 4,000 channels. Never pay for Foxtel again. Most of the channels on Foxtel are available for free. Over 78 different countries, 4,000 channels, and there's 1,000 channels of, of movies, 1,000 channels of sport channels, you name it. Very big. The more and more the internet gets faster and faster, the more and more people are going to use it for their... Um, I'm a bit of a movie buff myself. I love my movies. Errol de Cruz is a convert. You can pretty much watch any channel you want, unlimited. This is a remarkable concept compared to Foxtel and Optus. Sports mad, Errol has a thousand sports channels to choose from. With petrol prices and mortgage increases, Errol's beloved Foxtel had to go. It was costing around $90 a month with TV. Streaming is now saving more than $1,000 a year. You are saving a lot of money in the long term. And with the price it's offering, it's very hard to believe. The disadvantage is that it is online, that it, is, it takes a couple of seconds for it to load up, but still viewable. This is a huge threat for all the conventional uh, media, and we can't ignore it. Bring me the activation codes for our... But Peter believes streaming TV is here to stay, and for the major players, it's a case of fight or die.